welcome back to my channel so we're gonna be working on a 20 ounce skinny today and I'm gonna show you exactly how I start the whole process here which usually I don't but here we go so we're gonna just take this out of the box as you can see I like to store my lid in the bubble wrap back in the box I put it on the shelf so nothing gets lost because let's face it that's a possibility we're gonna go ahead and scuff it up really good wipe it down clean it very well let it 100% dry and then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint it just a base white color and then we'll move on to our glitter all right it's all painted and dry so we're gonna apply our glitter here using the epoxy method I'm gonna put a little bit more on than I normally do because we're working with Betty White which is a little bit chunkier of a glitter so if you do a really thin coat of epoxy and then the glitter, sometimes it makes it a little bit more challenging to get that to lay flat, if that makes sense. So I do add a little bit more than I normally would with the chunky glitters. And then we pat it down to make sure we get it just kind of as smooth as possible. So we're not having to add so many coats of epoxy onto it to get that really smooth finish. So um, once we get it all covered on here, I am using the quick coat epoxy for this step. I do use that for like the, the whole first part of steps as far as like my my cups that came out weird. I hope that made sense to you. <laughs> so when I'm doing like glitter applications, things like that, I always make sure to just use my quick coat. It just makes the whole process a lot faster. But when I go to seal it, I'm going to use my counterculture DIY epoxy, not the quick coat. So very important you know that. All right, so let's go ahead and just start dumping. Um, just let it rip and cover this bad boy with glitter. And can we just say, Betty White hasn't gotten the attention that she deserves. I'm just gonna say it. I mean, look how beautiful this glitter is. It's one of my newest glitters and it's so beautiful. I actually think of gender reveals with this one because as you can see, there's like little shifts of pink and blue. Like it's just really pretty. So I'm kind of going with very angelic and soft and neutral with this cup I had a vision for it sounds weird okay I know but I had a vision so this is kind of going with that vision to just keep it very soft looking you'll see what I mean as we keep going but we're just gonna coat this whole thing I'm gonna go ahead and pat it down very gently we're gonna let this cure and then epoxy till smooth Okay, so here's the images that we're working with, and I got these off of Etsy from VMD Designs, and I'm not going to use the image as a whole, so what I'm going to do is just kind of erase half of it and kind of take it apart a little bit, if that makes sense. I'm putting the wings on the back, and then the wording we're going to do on the front, but the wings we're going to do as a peekaboo. So that glitter that we just laid down is going to be our wings. Um, now, as I started to get more into this, part of me kind of was thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> Because it was very in-depth as far as weeding all of this vinyl off of the tumbler. Ugh, it's a good thing it came out pretty. Anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and ungroup this. We're going to just kind of separate it like you see here. Size the wings um, to whatever cup that you are doing. I want them to kind of take up at least 50 to 60% of the back of my tumbler. Like I said, I'm working with a 20 ounce skinny. So we're going to size this up, cut it up with some vinyl and spray paint this bad boy. Okay, so now that we got the epoxy on there, before we spray paint this or do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and just clean it up a little bit by the rim with an X-Acto knife. Please, please be careful and don't let this slip because it hurts. Ask me how I know. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to use a little tool that I got at Walmart just to kind of give that edge a nice smooth finish. 
and our sandpaper that you see laying down there just if any you know pieces of glitter pop up because those little stinkers like to appear out of nowhere make sure it's nice and smooth before you spray paint if it's not when you paint it you'll see it so better to do it now Remember when I said how I started to get into this project and then thought, oh man, I must be crazy. Yeah, this was the first moment that I thought that. So <laughs> I had to take a minute to realize kind of exactly what parts I needed to weed. So forgive me. This was a little in depth as far as getting everything out, but I did it guys. Don't worry. I did it. Okay, finally got that done. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay our transfer paper on here. I use a little tool that I got from TechWrap and I just make sure that's really, really pressed on there. With this image, there's a lot of tiny pieces as you can see. So this little scraper was very handy for making sure that this adhered really well. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna put it on the one side of the cup and just center it the best that you can. Um, if you ask me how I got it centered, I don't know. I eyeball it, if I'm being honest, um, for the most part, I don't really measure. I know, I know, but it, but it works. So <laughs> anyways, we're going to go ahead and peel this off. This is kind of just scrap vinyl that I had laying around. Um, I have tried the stencil vinyl and it works for a couple of things, but I wasn't sure that it was going to work for this delicate type of image. So I just kind of went with some extra scrap vinyl that I had laying around. All right, so once we get this on here really well, we're gonna go ahead and spray paint it. I did start with like a white pearlescent type of spray paint, but I didn't have enough in the can to finish it off. So I got kind of like one thin layer, and of course the store had all of the other colors except the one that I needed. So I ended up getting just kind of a very soft white, not necessarily a cream, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And oh boy, here comes the fun part. So this may have been the part in the project where I was like, oh my word, what was I thinking? <laughs> Whew. Anyways, so it did take me a while. As you can see, I did speed up the video and I didn't film the whole process because I probably sat here for at least an hour 
um, getting off all of these tiny scraps. So <laughs> it took a while, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Just wait till you see these wings. Oh my goodness. See, look, it was worth all the work. I know as much as it took to do that, but um, it just very much kind of brought my vision to life and completed the goal that I was going for with getting very soft, angelic looking wings. So I'm very happy with it, even though it took me forever. So we're going to go ahead and add a coat of epoxy, get it nice and thin and even, and then we're going to incorporate some pearl mica my goal with this is to kind of create you know, a cloudy, um, just kind of soften the cup a little bit more and just kind of give it a smidge of a personality so it's not just um, the paint. That makes sense, right? So you'll see what I mean. Okay, so here's the pearl. We're gonna mix it in with the epoxy here that we have. Again, this is the quick coat one. This pearl color you can find on my website. I do have them available and all micas are on sale, so run and grab yourself some. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up and then I'm gonna use a glove finger and just kind of, I don't know, put it on there. Like I really wasn't sure exactly where I was gonna put it. I started just kind of around the wings um, and then kind of branched out a little bit from there. I started off using a straw to kind of blow it out a little bit to give it that whimsical look and then nearly passed out. So then I thought to try one of the um, computer board cleaners that we use for our ink tumblers that I use a lot. So um, that ended up working really well too without me passing out. So really it was a win-win situation. But you can kind of see how I just kind of slowly start to add it and then I'll kind of just gradually add a little bit more, a little bit more here and there. There's no rhyme or reason. Like I said, I didn't really have a plan as far as like where exactly I'm gonna put this, but I knew that it would kind of complete the look of the angelic looking wings.
All right, so now for our wording. I thought it would be really pretty to use this pearlescent vinyl here that I get from TechWrap um, for some of the words because it, it matched up really well with our glitter and it was kind of a nice way to just break up the font a little bit and I love how it came out. So it does have a plastic clear film cover on top. Please make sure you remove that before cutting it. So I just cut off like the little square that you see here. I take that plastic piece off and then I put it in my Silhouette Cameo to cut. So um, just a little heads up, don't forget that. But this vinyl is absolutely beautiful. You can find a coupon code down for TechRep down below in the description. Um, but I love how this came out. All right, so now to move on to the purple. I thought that was a pretty um, soft accent color to kind of coordinate with the um, other vinyl we have going on there. Now, this wording here you can see is very, very thin. Um, it would be best as a water slide, honestly, but um, yeah, we said, why not do vinyl? So <laughs> it was a little bit tricky, but I ended up getting it. Just go nice and slow, that's my only advice. All right, so we're just gonna match it up with the wings. So we obviously have the wings on the other side. We're gonna do it as even as possible. And I'm gonna put the purple part on first and then I'm going to add the other words one by one with our holographic vinyl. Once we get this on here, we are going to add one to two coats of our final coat of epoxy until it's nice and smooth and we are done. So there was a little bit more stepwise to this, but I absolutely love how it came out and it's just kind of how I envisioned and it actually sold before I even listed it. So it's, it's becoming a very popular cup. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Just ask me down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. I'm kind of everywhere. Join us on Facebook at Carly's Creations, Tumblers, and more, and we'll see you on the next video.